Well, the first damage is, is loss of trade. Anytime you have a trade limiting disease like foot and mouth, African swine fever, the minute that is reported to the OIE, there's a very high probability that our trading partners will cut us off. Um, we're exporting close to 27% of our pork right now. Um, that would put 27% more pork back on the U.S. market and absolutely wreck the agricultural economy for the pork industry. Some work that uh, was done at Iowa State by Dr. Dermot Hayes, a model that we funded at the National Pork Board, uh, basically showed uh, in that model they used African swine fever. And uh, we're talking billions and billions of dollars of lost revenue just from one case being reported because we've lost trade. When you add in response costs and what states would have to do that have the disease in order to contain that disease and potentially eradicate that disease, and there's some real challenges there too because we don't have a vaccine for African swine fever like we do for, for foot and mouth and for classical swine fever. But when you start adding in the response costs, and you start getting into humane euthanasia and you get into um, any disposal that you would need to occur. I mean, it just keep adding billions of dollars on top of it. And that would, that would take an extremely hard hit on the agricultural economy across all species, really. And, and that's just because the agricultural economy and our small communities are so tied together and so one, if one sector is hurting because of, of an issue, a disease issue, it usually ends up hurting others. We've got other data with foot and mouth disease that would demonstrate that with loss of trade of pork and loss of trade of beef because FMD affects cattle and, and the trade that the milk industry has as well, we're looking at, you know, $10, $10 billion, or excuse me, $20 billion right off the top that first year. But you'd even see losses in the poultry industry and not because FMD, FMD doesn't affect poultry, but if you put a lot of cheap, pork on the U.S. market, we could outcompete the poultry industry on low prices. And so even those other industries, the corn industry, the soybean industry that are high value industries to our, um, our industry because of the good quality feed that they provide, even they would see revenue losses because our herds would have to readjust to what the new normal was for trade, which would, you know, in the first couple of years might be zero. So how do you absorb 27% more of your pork in the United States if you can't export? So you'd have to get eat your way through that and get back to a, an equilibrium to with what your exports and domestic production would be. We have quite a bit of exports and we're the lowest cost producer, but if you cut our ability to move pork, it can hurt us just economically in an instant.